Hello and welcome to a Gadget Core um, unboxing. Unfortunately, the camera cut out when I was unboxing it, so everything's already everywhere. It came in this type of wrapping and with a styrofoam and in a box, relatively thin, relatively big, not too bad. So that's where we got to. We got the power cable. We got the base connector, we got the base, it's fairly sturdy, it's made of plastic but it feels fairly sturdy to hand. There's obviously a um, screw which you place into the thing to tighten it up. We've got an EU power adapter, a UK power adapter, a VGA cable and the various documentation so now I'm going to try and put this together so I'll get the base connector out you can see I'll move it over here you've got a socket to plug this into so isn't going to be the easiest thing ever but and you have to push it in quite hard after experience of doing the other two and I was quite worried about doing it at first but you hear a click when it's gone in then obviously get the base put the base on yeah and put the big part at the front and the small part at the back you just let it slide on and then you'll get a screwdriver if you can see you can get a screwdriver and tighten this up. You can do a lot of it by hand though, so I'll do majority by hand because there's this nice um, thumb screw type thing for us. Tighten it up, you don't have to be too tight. Press that down. There you go, there's the monitor. This, which is um, the power connector, we got that out of its thing. That's saying you got this cable tie, which could be useful in cable management. I'll keep this, keep this um, for use later. But you should get some better quality things with a case or motherboard, depending on well your look. But this this is going to also be useful somewhere. Um, so we've got a small power brick with that LED indicator on, and the um, this cable is the same as what you'd use for your computer. Anything else, it's, it's pretty much a standard cable for use for PCs. The only thing that should be noted is that fusing uh, fuse is rated to a certain amount, and that depends on the computer what it's powering. So I wouldn't advise swapping them around. It's not always the best idea. Um, so I'm going to plug this together. It's pretty simple. Everyone's done this. Fits together pretty well. And I'll turn the monitor around. It does look like tipping forward, I've got to say. I think they could have extended the base a little bit more further this way and a little left that way. But I'm not Acer, I don't know why. Maybe there's a reason for it. Um so yeah. We've now got this DC up in goes in there. It's not the most elegant connector ever. At least it's right angled, so that's all I can say at the moment. So clicks in quite satisfactory. And I'd advise keeping this unless you've got a really long way to your power cable. I'd advise keeping this there. So you've now got this. Am I gonna put this in place and show you the NVIDIA surround setup which we're gonna have? big power brick for everything gets in the way but it's highly useful. I'd advise anyone who has lots of stuff in the office to get something like this. So yeah. It's a tight fit. We should be able to manage it. So 
Move it over. Get the bevel as small as possible. There we go. And then plug it in. See whether it turns on. Hopefully it does. Because we're not in for much luck, are we? So, um, move this out of the way. Turn this on. And there's a power switch at the bottom. And as you can see, it's now on. So, the computer is now set up with NVIDIA surround and you can see all the screens are working pretty well. So I'm going to demonstrate why it really improves your gaming experience. So the first game I'm going to run, and probably the only game in this video, will be <coughs> Battlefield 3. So launch this now. Should come up. As you can see it comes up in this browser. There we go, so it's full screen now. And if I just um, launch the campaign. It's not the quickest game to load, don't worry about it. It's not, it's not the computer. It's how this game works. So I'll switch over to Battlefield 3 anyway, just so you can see. There won't be any sound because it uses headphones and I don't have any external speakers at the moment. So that's not great. But we'll try our best. As ever. As you can see, on all three screens, now an image. And it really improves your peripheral vision. The settings that we got on this are reasonably high and we were able to manage that. Which is great, so... Shit. So, um... We're actually able to play, uh, play it a really high... the uh, intensive game with... Um, pretty high settings. And... Oops. And, um, not worry about... FPS or anything because this is this is actually extremely decent. It gives you an auto settings, and we've got extremely good. We've got highest textures. We've got ultra textures, and then the only thing that they turn down is things like anti-aliasings down to four times instead of eight times, and one or two other things we've improved as well. But, if you overclock it, which we have, we can say that you can actually comfortably play Battlefield 3 on full settings, on most levels, with this resolution, which is actually not 5760 by 1080 because of the bezel um, resolution, it's now 5940. So... This is an extremely intensive thing for the graphics card to render. But as you can see, it's really improved the game experience because you're able to see everything. So, as you can see, I'd highly recommend Battlefield 3 as a game to use with NVIDIA Surround, and I highly recommend NVIDIA Surround. Whoa. So, it's pretty, it, there's nothing that's comparable to this level of detail that I, I'm seeing right now. Because I think, yeah, you could increase the graphics quality by just playing it at 1080p. But it's frankly more immersive being at this larger resolution over three displays than just on one display.
can see a lot more of the map. So um, it really helps gaming and I hope you can see this from this quick demo using a great game. Especially for surround and it's extremely ta uh, heavy on the graphics card. So if you're playing a simpler game, you don't have to worry at all about the resolution with this graphics card, which is a GTX 780. You can just play it on max even at this resolution. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope you can see why we chose to do this freeway surrounding and give you a good view. And we'll be doing more demos with this computer in the future.